Right. This is Jackie with InTheKeyOfChange.com. I'm with the members of Big D and the Kids Table at Vans Warped Tour in Virginia, enjoying a nice air-conditioned room. It's been wonderful. It is wonderful here. I, I've heard that uh, some of the stops of Warped have been pretty brutal weather-wise. Yes. What the hell do you guys do to stay sane or remotely sane? Um, well, we got lucky. I think the hottest day was in Vegas, but they put a casino right next to the place with crank and air conditioning. So we uh, went in there, kind of got free drinks and played little stuff. I don't know, I won 40 bucks. Oh, it was nice, pretty good. Nice. The, best, the best quote in Vegas I heard was, it's 120, but don't worry, when you guys play, I think it'll be 109. And I was like, all right. <laughs> oh, and it's a dry heat, so right. don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, it's a dry heat, don't worry. It's like, but I'm also dying. <laughs> we used to live there, it still sucks. Yeah. Hot is hot. It's so hot. <laughs> I always say it's kind of like when you're making dinner and you open up the oven and it just, mm, you know? But it's like, mm, all the time. Constant oven in your face. That's not <laughs> fun. That's not fun. Um, so what what else do you guys do to stay entertained, like tour bus wise? Because this is a very long tour in yeah. comparison to I'm sure it has to be on the road. One of my main uh, questions to the band before the tour started was, all right, if we do Warp Tour, I want a fire pit. And uh, so we brought a fire pit because in 2011, Lucero had a fire pit. And it was one of the best places to go. Very nice, but... We added a little Harry Potter to it, and we bought these this magic powder that you can buy online to make the flames blue and green and purple. So we try to have a little fire pit with colored flames. Did that work well in Vegas? You, no, we we got told to abruptly stop once we got to the dry places. Yeah, I had, yeah. I had a feeling because with all the uh, the forest fires. Yeah, going on. yeah, yeah. But now we're back to the east. Say, we we've we've got humidity. You're you're fine yeah. here. We can light the whole place on fire. It'll be fine. <laughs> I mean, we're you're going to D.C. tomorrow, so whatever. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you guys are sort of seasoned veterans. <laughs> I'll, I'll put that. I'll put that out there nicely. We're like wine. Yeah. We get better with age. Yeah. Right. So, how have you seen Warp Tour sort of evolve through your experience? Uh, well, the you know the styles. You always, I guess, you always look at the the main stages and stuff, and who's who, who are the big guys coming. Um, the more and more you do it, you know, and the scene changes and stuff. Because, I mean, we've done it over a span of maybe 93 to, oh, 2003. So, like, 10 years, right? 93, before Warped Tour, was <laughs> it? I remember when we showed up. You know, it's, like, bound to change. But uh, this time, this time especially, but it happens all the time, you start to not know as many of the main stage bands because the big thing is kind of different now. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not, like, um, you know, social distortion and, like, you know, Alkaline Trio and No Effects are closing the day, and like yeah. everybody's there. It's different now. You know, people don't stay for the last band anymore, and you know, the bigger bands. It's just not a scene that we necessarily listen to at this point in our lives. But um, you know, it's it's cool to see new bands and see what they do, and you know, it's cool. It's always good to see a band own like ten thousand people. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? That's always pretty cool. It's also like, if you, if you think with the warp Tour's longevity, the 60s going into the 70s, the 70s going into the 80s, the 80s going into the 90s, it's always going to change, you know what I mean? So we just kind of are seeing the styles change. So everyone's like, what's different about warp Tour? It's like, it's just total normal wave of what music does. But the only thing we're grateful of uh, is like some of the bands like, you know, timeless bands like the Beastie Boys or Run DMC or even Aerosmith. Obviously, we're not that caliber. But we've been able to kind of coast over the millennium mark. Oh, sorry, the decade mark. And, uh, and that's nice. Well, speaking of decades and, and sort of the, ch the change in the scene, uh, social media is sort of yeah. necessary. Sure. Uh, do you guys feel that you are have to make time to tweet and post pictures and, and stuff? Or is it something that's just part of the job? You just, you well, just do it. Well, uh, definitely for me. The only thing I feel bad for um, some kids is, is, you know, you used to go out flyering. And flyering was a very fun thing. You get out in the sun. And, um, I mean, there are a lot of similarities because I think social media networking is kind of like flyering. And, like, when you would go out flyering, you meet people. You're like, hey, you might meet a new friend, a girl. You know, everything would work out. Um, and I guess online they're still meeting people, so they haven't lost that. But... Um, they're just not out in the sun as much. And uh, and so uh, social media, it's just like digital flyering. So it's fine. Yeah. 
do you find do you, are you putting aside time to do it or just sort of when the moment hits like hey I would say when the moment hits but there's so many people in our band that um, some people will pick up the slack because you know you know they always say you can do everything online now but why do you want to do everything online you know <laughs> Touché. Yeah. some things you need to experience live yeah fair enough yeah so, so uh, the shows will be skyping <laughs> oh no don't say that I'll cr dude I totally skyped Forever the Horizon. <laughs> <laughs> so what bands uh, on this version of the tour do you find yourself making sure Bring that you Bring me the Horizon. Sorry, I got the name wrong. I didn't want to correct him. <laughs> I didn't want to correct him, but have you seen Bring Me the Horizon set? Yeah, they're awesome. Okay, yeah. what else do you listen to? Uh, I like Bring Me the Horizon because we're big Pantera fans, and they can get in the groove. Is that the right band? Oh, that's August Burns Red. <laughs> we also Burns like... Red. Uh, when I was little, band names had one word, yeah. not sentences. But ours is a sentence. I know, it's true. Yeah. No, it's okay. Uh, what's the question? <laughs> what other good bands, bands, other like. bands you're catching. Uh, five Knives is cool. Five Knives is cool. Uh, five Knives is like if Trent Reznor and the French singer Yell had a child. That's a compliment. Um, Six Year Guns. Six Year Guns is awesome. Um, <laughs> River Fish, obviously. MC Loud. MC Loud. Frost Space. Frost Space. Good. The band that we went on tour with in China. Uh, one more. One more. Just one more. Uh, do but it. we do like, we do like the one you said, Guns of Run Sun. Yeah, August Burns. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There we go. That, that's just yeah, one more. That like counts. Yeah. So it sounds like you have a very um, wide variety of musical tastes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean. Well, I, f I like metal first. Okay. So, yeah. And then Scott just was a little more positive. So how do you take sort of uh, today's music, musical taste and musical popularity, how do you infuse that into what um, fans might expect from your music? Whoa. I have an amazing <laughs> question. Let me repeat the question. What do we think with some of the bands that we're seeing today, how, how are those bands incorporating into our, nothing. Zero. 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 Okay. Yeah. So and you not in a cocky way, just in an honest way. It's, I would say okay. zero. Yeah. yeah. I would say almost the polar opposite. <laughs> Is yeah. that intentionally to set yourselves apart from the crowd? No, I, I think, no. I think it's just different generations. I think when Paris, I've been on Warped Tour forever. I think once Paris Hilton hit, I think uh, little did people know that you, boys other than girls definitely got shaped and molded by Paris Hilton and Travis Barker. And I believe the me generation started. And I think we're the last of the parents who are from the 50s and we are not a me generation. We are a we, like a we generation. And you know, uh, I think they're, uh, they're different. I think the Kardashians are around, around more than we realize. It's frightening. I know. It's frightening. Yeah, I know. Going to hell, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of TV you rattled off. Yeah. What do you watch? Because there's a lot of really crappy sort of, um, not live action. Um, yeah, television shows. Reality shows. Oh, yeah. Reality based. Well, faux reality based. Arrested Development. Yeah. Okay, that's a good one. History Channel, the military channel on the bus. <laughs> we watch The Walking Dead, but we complain the whole time. Yeah. We don't oh, like we the love it. We like, we like the zombies, we don't like the characters. Yeah. We're like, kill them, kill them, kill them. Uh, uh, Game of Thrones, I suck myself Game into. Thrones, yeah. yeah. We watch yeah. a lot of movies and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, the, the reality thing is kind of, you know, it happened later on for us as far as when it kind of really hit. Now everything is like reality show. So we're, we're actually, there's a reality show on the tour. Yeah, there is. And we're a part of it. And what's that? Warped, Warped yeah. Roadies too. Yeah. Mafia. See, you, you, you don't want to be a part of it, and yet you are. Your sunglasses are so small. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy with the camera, is it? <laughs> so what's up next for Big D and the Big Table? Um, we're going to go, after this, we'll go home for a little while and take a break. And then in, like, October, November, we're going to do a headlining tour around the U.S. to support the two records we just recorded. That are going to be out tomorrow? We're getting them tomorrow? Day after tomorrow. Day after tomorrow. <laughs> the mailman has them tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. So he's got it first. So, yeah, we're going to do a tour. Do our Halloween show that we always do in Boston. Um, yeah, just play till we have to record. Yeah, then we'll do that. Definitely go on Warp Tour, take a little break, and then hit the U.S. and Canada again. And keep firing as long as you can. Okay. Well, Warp Tour is also known for uh, exposing listeners to new ideas, uh, social media, yeah. um, uh, 
social causes rather in charities. What are some charities or causes that you guys have worked for or Back in the wanted day, help? The first two we started working for was uh, climateemergency.org, I think, I believe. And then we started working with uh, Earth Echo, Philippe Cousteau's organization, and the Blue Legacy, Alexandre Cousteau's uh, organization. And then, and w we were working with them pretty tightly. Um, and then we started just covering through video, because on Warp Tour there's tents, you know, uh, invisible children, save animals, like this, like the, I don't know how you say it, the social consciousness. Social crowd. consciousness, yeah, mm -hmm. block. And uh, we used to, yes, <laughs> we did it. And uh, we were doing this uh, thing, which is a first step, which basically there's so many different um, causes these days that it's actually hard to know which one to stand for. So we were just kind of doing a lazy Susan, um, kind of three minute little blurb on each one on Warp Tour and putting it out there and just being like, just, you know, take, just kind of fish through them yourself. And so we, we actually have been toe to toe, fist to fist, neck to neck with most of the uh, organizations. Well, check out more from Big D in the Caves Table. Become socially active, socially conscious. And uh, this is Jackie with InTheKeyOfChange.com.